In this video, we're going to describe transformations of graphs. It says the graph of y equals f of negative x plus 4 minus 2 is the graph of y equals f of x. So they want us to describe the transformations that are occurring for this function here. The first thing you want to do is notice that you have a negative in front of the x value. Our first step here would be to factor the negative out of these two terms, which would be negative 1 x minus 4 minus 2. The reason we factor the negative 1 out is now we can see what the leading coefficient is, which tells us uh, how we're reflected. And then we can also see what uh, our horizontal shift will be. And then um, it doesn't really affect our vertical shift, but at least it lets us know what our horizontal shift is. So let's describe these things. Negative 2 on the outside. Remember that your general function for problems like these is f of x minus h plus k. So the, uh, this is the k value. This is a, down, or a vertical shift down two units. The k part tells you the vertical shift. The h part tells you the horizontal shift. Now because it says minus h here, that means that technically the h is 4. So that is a right shift. It's always the opposite sign to what's in the middle. So this is going to be a horizontal shift to the right, two units. So opposite sign for the horizontal shift. Obviously, this is plus k for the vertical shift, so it's just whatever that number is. And then finally, if you have a number that is in front of the x value, that's immediately doing something to the x value, that tells you you have some sort of horizontal either stretch, compression, or reflection. Because this number is 1, it's not a stretch or a compression. But the negative tells you that it's a horizontal reflection. And it's a horizontal reflection. That means across the y-axis. Because if we're flopping uh, x values, which is what they're saying, right? We're flopping x values. That means that we're actually uh, moving across the y-axis. 